The Astro Surgery Project anticipates one of many needs that will be needed for healthcare on expeditionary space flights. Uh, those would be space flights, for example, to Mars, to asteroid, uh, possibly to even other locations in the solar system, or for establishing long-term base of operations on the moon. So one of the many things that NASA is trying to do is have fundamental surgical capabilities for expeditionary space flights. And that's where the Astro Surgery Project comes in. We are trying to develop a surgical instrument that allows you to control and contain the surgery operative site in the weightless environment. Envision a dome, a clear plastic dome about the size of a grapefruit and around the base there's a flange that has an adhesive material that sticks the dome to the skin where the surgical site is going to be located. Fortunately NASA has an airplane that flies what I would describe as a 12,000 foot roller coaster in the sky and as it's coasting over the top of the arc and back down, there's a period of time where relative to the airplane you are weightless, just like when you're on the space station in orbit or when you're on your way to Mars or on your way to the moon. The periods of weightlessness last can last up to 20 seconds. And so what you have to do is very carefully plan out the different tasks that you're going to perform during the weightless periods. This particular opportunity is with the Flight Opportunities Program, which is a new program at NASA to stimulate the development of technologies that they expect to need 10 to 20 years from now when they're beginning to send crews on expeditionary space flights. And even though it's quite a time into the future, it's going to take a long time for these technologies to be developed to the point where they are highly reliable so that they can successfully contribute to the purpose of those particular missions.